welcome. I am finally in my kitchen. I've been asked so much to share some of my favorite plant-based, vegan, cruelty-free recipes. Today's recipe is, in my opinion, a comfort food. It kind of reminds me of a fettuccine alfredo, except it's made with avocados. It's super simple. If you're a garlic lover, this one is for you. Um, and being super simple, I know that you guys can do it. I make this maybe once or twice a week it is my absolute go-to because it's so quick to make. You'll notice that I don't measure anything. I always eyeball, but for some reason it always turns out the same. <laughs> so feel free to change up the recipe, do whatever works for you. This is only kind of like a base. This is what I do, this is what I like. You're gonna hear Rocky snoring. <laughs> so feel free to change up whatever you need, add more of something, add less of something, or even just add something that I don't show you here today. So you can make it your own. What we'll need is, I'm gonna use three avocados today, one clove of garlic. Sometimes I use two, I love garlic, so if you're like me, you can use two, but um, I feel like one today is enough. Salt and pepper. Feel free not to, I, I don't always use the pepper, so feel free not to use it, but I always find it, that it gives it more of a Alfredo feel. Any plant-based milk of your choice. However, today I'm gonna be using cashew milk. I find cashew milk the most creamiest, um, and when it's served with hot food, I find it just works the best. And of course, the type of pasta that I'm using today is a, I think it's a pesto, garlic, or spinach pasta. I'm not too sure, um, but it's vegan. Feel free to use any kind of pasta that you enjoy or that you have around because it all kind of tastes the same to me. Now that's the basic recipe. I always cook it like that. Um, that's, it's perfect as is. However, if you want to make it a little more fancy. You can add some uh, sun-dried tomatoes. I know it's not going to be for everybody, but I personally love them. And you can use, tell me in the comments what you think this is called. <laughs> I call it shallots, but I think that I'm completely wrong. Um, so yeah, <laughs> let me know what you think that this is called in the comments below. And this is our complete recipe for today. So no need to make it complicated. What I use for this recipe is just a fork, a bowl, a knife, and a grater. You don't need a grater. You can just cut the garlic as is with a knife. Um, but I kind of like the smaller pieces of the garlic in this recipe. Sometimes I don't use the grater. So again, just do you. So we'll go ahead. If you have too much of the avocado sauce, you can put it on sandwiches, you can put it in salad. I have put it on macaroni salad. I have eaten it with rice. It's so good. Oh my gosh. You can also use some lemon in there just to keep it from um, discoloring. So from here, you can either grate it on the plate, but I just like to go right in there and grate it. And I just... And I just kind of mix that in there just to get the flavor of the garlic inside of the avocado and to kind of squish the avocado, mash it <laughs> a little before I add the milk. Now the milk is what's gonna make this super creamy and I'm gonna tell you that you don't have to use the milk. I just personally think it tastes better with it. Before we add the milk, we're gonna place the salt in there and again, use as much as you want. I like to use a lot, I love salt. You can always add more salt later and then we'll just start to add the milk. Again, just add as much milk as you'd like until it's super creamy and kind of pours out on its own. 
You don't want it super liquidy, but you don't want it too thick either. So this is as, I hope you can see it. This is as good as it's gonna get today. It's kind of like, you know, goofy. Not too thick, not too thin. Make it however you want though. No rules. So from there, I'm just gonna go ahead and And then I'm gonna put it back back in the pot. I hope you can still see me. <laughs> if not, I hope my direction is clear. And then you're gonna go ahead and grab your sauce. You're gonna turn your stove on really low, low to medium, and just start pouring in your sauce. And we're just gonna heat it just very slight and just stir it in there. It might not look beautiful, <laughs> but it's super tasty. And then from there, we're just gonna plate it. It doesn't look pretty, again, but it's super, super tasty. And I'm just gonna take the pepper, completely optional. I'm gonna put it all on top. You can take your sun-dried tomatoes and you can either mix it in the pot. Same with the shallots. You can mix it inside the pot or you can just top it. And here it is. I really hope you guys can see this. Oh my God, it smells so good. Um, it's one of my favorite things to make. Super simple, super quick and easy. I hope you guys enjoy it let me know below if you try it out also if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up share it with your family or friends let's let people know that eating cruelty free doesn't have to be boring and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any uploads namaste